You're welcome back to Uko Marketing TV. So on today's video, I'm going to show you two basic methods on how to make your pandu, your semo, amala, and the likes to avoid loss. So this video will help you to put it so perfectly that whenever you are making it, you will not feel those lumps you used to have. Some people used to ask me, how do you make your Bando, how do you make this semolina, semofita? How do you do it? That each time I make mine, I use so observe lumps. So this video is for you. This video will guide you on how to make it perfect. After watching this video and putting it into practice, you will avoid all those lumps. You will be a master of all those stuff. So let's go on how to make bando semo without lumps. So this is my bando yeah. I've already opened it. Here is my vegetable oil. This vegetable oil will actually avoid it from sticking to the pan. This vegetable oil will also reduce those lungs that you have been observing. The next thing here I'll be using is my water to reduce the texture. Bring water to a boiling point, then add a little vegetable oil, then reduce the heat by adding a little water. This will help in reducing the temperature of the water now stir in little quantity of the pandu bit by bit till everything is thick please don't pour it at once because it will be too hard for you to control and it will stick together and form the lumps concentrate on how i'm doing it follow this step bit by bit till you achieve a smooth texture your heat should be reduced to a very minimum that it can be. Then keep on stirring till everything is mixed together and there is no lumps and everything is formed. Once this texture is achieved, I like to rest on the pan for like 30 seconds till it's well cooked and get hot. You can add a little water to make it hot faster and to reduce the texture to your choice. Now the pando yam is ready as it is well hot and it's well cooked. So after presenting this, let's go to method 2. So welcome to method 2 and this method is actually the simplest so you can apply this method to your pando, to your semovita and the likes and what you need to do is to pour it to your bowl, add a little amount of water and turn it to a paste while boiling your hot water then what you need to do is to turn this paste to the water and keep stirring it and with this, it's absolutely going to be free from lumps. You won't have any lumps by applying this method. But you should be mindful of the water added to the pan as water has already been added to the paste. So it should be minimum and it will be very easy for you to turn it as it's also going to be lumps free. So here you can add more of the powder to heat to get your desired texture.
just as it was done in method 1, spread it around the pot and allow it to get hot and well cooked. With whichever method you want to apply, the choice is now yours. So with this, you can eat it with any Nigerian soup of your choice. I'm going to enjoy mine with Ogbono soup. So if you wanna join me, come over to Okoma Kitchen. Let's eat together. Thank you for always watching our videos. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, I'm leading you to do that right now. Click on the notification bell to get notified whenever you're posting new videos. And thank you. We love you so very much. Thank you.